Flow Hives here at Flow HQ today. We've got a bit of a rainy day. We're going to do some harvesting. Without the hive, the bees will not be happy about that on a rainy day. Whereas with the Flow Hive, I'm just going to take this cap out here at the top, turn this key, and let's have a look and see what happens. We've chosen a nice full frame here with the um, honey is going to drain right out of One is you're going to need a cover for your jar and we'll get to that in a second. The rain is only and turn the handle all the way in which is harvesting the, that entire frame. The honey is just coming down the tube now which is always into your jar. Needs no further processing and it, it, you really shouldn't process honey or process honey as least as possible because you want to retain all of the medicinal benefits, the, the uh, flavour as well. The flavour it really does change when it's been processed a lot as well. And harvesting directly to the jar gives you the different flavours in one hive. You'll see there's different colours here and each colour is going to be quite representative of a different flavour. So the things you need to consider are covering the jar so the rain doesn't get in there, but also for the bee. If you harvest a lot of honey at once, let's say you decided to harvest all these frames, the bees like to clear out and make space. The humidity in the hive really changes. They need to control the airflow. There might be spills that they have to clean up. All of that, whether you're harvesting in a conventional hive or a flow hive, you'll get a, a whole lot of bees clearing out of, of the way to allow more airflow in the hive and allow the bees to go about their amazing work of repairing. Now, if it's raining, that could have the effect of a whole lot of bees out the, the front of the hive, the rain getting them wet, and if you're in a temperate climate and you're in the summertime like here, they'll be fine, but if you're in a cold climate, that might not be so good because you've got wet bees and a cold night ahead. So keep that in mind if you are harvesting when the weather's not so nice. If you do have a cold night ahead, just harvest a few frames and leave the rest for the bees. That way you limit the chances of a whole lot of bees being out in the cold for the night. Um, because in, if they're wet and cold, they could perish overnight. So, but that's about it. Otherwise you can go ahead and harvest honey from your flow hive in the rain. And it's a, a beautiful thing to be able to do that. If you've got questions, put them in the comments below. Anything to do with beekeeping or flow hives, ask away and questions we will um, just talk a little bit more about what's going on in this hive. So you can see the honey the way it's draining out of these cell lines. So what's happening right here is representative of what's happening in every cell line in the frame. So the honey if you like is draining down like this and it's drained down to about this level so far and the remaining honey in here will keep keep coming down so that's really neat to, to watch that okay so we've got some internet troubles um, just give us a thumbs up if it's coming through okay but that's beautiful to watch the honey I'm going to have to taste that honey and just see what it's like 